excited to see you guys today because it is the best time of year. I mean, my favorite time of year, but I seem to be a little bit stuck at the moment. Do you think you guys can help me get untangled? I'm really excited for today's lesson and I think with your help, I might be able to get out. Okay, ready? One, two, three. We did it! You guys, it is the best time of year, which is Christmas! kids. We're going to be going through the Christmas story, which is one of my favorite stories because it's the day hope comes to us. Jesus leaves heaven and comes to earth as a little baby so that we can have a relationship with him. So everybody take out your jingle bells, Christmas lights, wrapping paper, and let's have a Christmas party as we begin today's lesson. All right, what was the best gift you ever received? Can you remember it? Maybe it was Polly Pockets. Maybe it was a Lego set. Maybe you got a car to drive around in the backyard, or you got a piano to play at Christmas. We love to receive gifts, right? They're lots of fun. Now, some people, the best present they've ever received is something they needed. How many of you guys know that there are children who don't have shoes? And so the best gift they ever received was a new pair of shoes. Some people don't always get to eat. So the best gift they've ever received is a home cooked meal. Now, there was a world that was in need. They needed a savior. They were broken. They were lonely. They were sad. They had no hope. And they needed someone to come save them. And God saw them in their need and decided to send them Jesus. Jesus is in heaven. He's living in perfect peace where there's no sickness, no pain. He had never done anything wrong. But God sent him to earth as a little baby boy so that he can make our sins right, so that we could have a relationship with him. But Jesus needed a mom if he was gonna to come to the world as a baby. But who would God choose to be the mother of the savior of the whole world? Let's find out. All right, so let's break down the Christmas story together. So Mary is just 14 years old and she's engaged to get married to Joseph. But one day, an angel appeared to Mary and told her, Mary, highly favored one, the Lord has chosen you to raise the Son of God. You will have a baby. And she said, you are crazy. There's no way I'm having a baby. And he says, no, the Lord has already put the baby inside of you. You don't argue with angels. Mary was afraid. It was this bright light. Could you imagine if an angel appeared to you right in your room and told you that God put a baby inside of you? Me? Why me? I'm only 14 years old. Now why would you choose a young girl to place the Son of God inside of? What do I know about raising a baby, much less the holy baby? Not even Mary. What will Joseph think of me? He won't believe me if I tell him. But Mary said yes, and she was filled with joy, and she said, generations and generations will count me blessed. And it's true. Think about how many years later it's been, and we're still talking about her. I count her blessed that she got to hold Jesus, the light of the world, in her arms. 
and know him personally. Okay, yes. What a blessing, what an honor that you would choose me. Breaking news, Justin, 14 year old woman is pregnant and claims that an angel appeared to her and told her that it is the son of God. Let's find out what happens next in the life of Mary. So how is she gonna explain this to Joseph? I Mary, we are not married yet, so you want to explain to me how you're pregnant? Yeah, uh-huh, that doesn't really, that doesn't really make sense now, does it? Huh? Well, the good news is that God confirms it with him too. And one night while Joseph was sleeping, God gave him a dream that revealed to him that him and Mary were going to raise a baby, the Son of God, and they were going to call him Jesus. Oh my gosh, Mary, we're gonna have a baby and it's gonna be the Son of God. I know. Out of everyone, God chose you and me. I've been informed it appears her husband Joseph is also claiming to have received a dream from God and that this is indeed the Son of God. There's a lot of chatter going around town on whether or not to believe them. We have heard people say, You're crazy. They must have not believed that she's pregnant. They know Mary and she would never lie. It's up to you on who to believe. The memory verse for the day is going to come out of Luke 1, 38. This is right after the angel has just appeared to Mary and told her that God has chosen her to carry the Son of God and be his mother. And Mary replies, I am your servant, Mary said. May your word to me be fulfilled. Mary's response is, I am your servant. May your word to me be fulfilled. In other words, she's saying, God, whatever you ask of me, I will do it. And let your promises be true. Let your word come true. Our main point for the day is going to be, I will be a servant of God. Let's say it again. I will be a servant of God. Mary was young. She was 14 years old, and maybe that seems old to you. But before you know it, you're going to be 14. And God called her to do something that seemed scary. She did not feel like she was the best choice. She was afraid to do it. But she said, I will be your servant. I will do whatever you ask of me, God. And we want to have the same response. God is going to call you. He's going to ask you to do some things that seem scary. And may our response be, I am your servant. Because remember our main point, I will be God's servant. I will be a servant of the Lord. I will honor God with my life. All right, I have a special Christmas challenge for you. But let's head back in the classroom to find out what it is. And we're back. So I know you guys are super excited to hear about this challenge, and I am too, because it involves giving gifts. Now, how many of you know that giving gifts is a lot of times better than receiving gifts? So here's what we're gonna do. Here at Life Song Church, we have these white boxes that starting on Sunday, you can pick up. On Sundays from nine to 12, you can pick up this white cardboard box and fill it with gifts to give away. On Christmas Day, we're gonna take these downtown and give them to people who are not receiving Christmas gifts. Can you imagine receiving no Christmas gifts? That would be so sad. But unfortunately, there are a lot of kids and families who don't receive anything. So you can pick this box up and fill it with shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, or what I would love for our life song kids to do is to fill it with a gift you would want to give to another kid. Fill it with something you would want to receive. Maybe one of your favorite toys or a stuffed animal. Maybe your favorite type of snack. But make a special box for kids so that not just the adults get presents on Christmas, but the kids too. You can wrap it up, put a bow on top of it, and on Christmas Day, they're gonna get to receive a very special gift for you. Now remember, God loved us by sending his son to the earth 
So now we get to show the love of God to others by giving a gift. So let me know if you have any questions and I would love for you to be a part. Well, that about wraps up Christmas part one at Lifesong Church. But don't worry, guys, we are just getting started. Let's take a sneak peek at what we're talking about next week. Next week on Lifesong Kids Christmas, Mary and Joseph will have to find a place for baby Jesus to be born. Will it be amongst all these animals? With wise men bringing him beautiful gifts and a star that leads shepherds to find him? Find out next week on Lifesong Kids Christmas. So as you can see, you're not going to want to miss the next part of the story. But for now, let's go ahead and end with... Don't forget to love out loud.